Yutang transfers the money to him and advises him to not select up the cell phone if she ever called him, or does now not name her or give her number to everybody else. While Lin is wondering that as an emperor, he isn't always half of as smug because the female. Yutang then leaves the seat pronouncing that there is little or no space right here, is going to the, the front, and tells Yanhai to head take a seat with Lin. Yanhai desires to place up a combat against Yutang however is afraid to get on her awful side. She is stored by Zixuan, as he tells her to sit with Lin, saying that he desired to tell her something. She walks away wondering that she has to clarify that the wedding contract is a comic story among their grandparents, whilst Zixuan is satisfied to get in possibility to take a seat with Yutang. He tries to start a communication by way of talking about the video games, but Yutang rudely tells him to stay quiet. The bus soon reaches its destination, and all the students are surprised to look that the mountain could be very high and are doubting if they might even climb that. The boys are afraid to be left behind and ask for help from ladies, who promise to even carry them if they get worn out. Yunchu is most excited and asks absolutely everyone to follow her so they may be now not. Left behind after climbing for 30 minutes, some of the boys begin to complain that they are tired making Lin surprised that they're even less suit than him. Lin starts off evolved on, foot once more at the same time as thinking that if he could regain his power, he will overwhelm them here for centuries. Yunchu sees him mountain climbing by myself and is Worried that no person cares about him, however, she is reluctant to enroll in him due to the fact she is the communicate of the city. As some other 20 minutes bypass, Lin is struggling to climb and is aggravated by way of the reality that those men are pretentious. However, in reality, they're all so physically suit. Yuncho feels terrible for him as she introduced him right here and sooner or later is going to provide him assist however he refuses and tells her to go beforehand and climb her manor, announcing that he can nonetheless go on. The emperor thinks to himself that this exhaustion is not anything as compared to the test and tribulations he went through to turn out to be emperor and the mortals can't even consider that. Yunchu is going beforehand after telling him to watch for her if he can't climb any similarly. Lin continues to hike, sudden anyone with his power, whilst he reaches the twos and thirty-three of the way. After a touch, even as he meets with Yunchu and the other ladies again, who says that they need to prevent here and go lower back to Ida. A few restaurant however Lin refuses to go together with them, pronouncing that he wants to see the view from up there. Yunchu is worried for him and wants to forestall him from going there alone. However, the other girls drag her away, saying that she ought to permit him do what he wishes. After any other twenty minutes of trekking, Lin sooner or later reaches the top of the mountain, shocking Yutang who is sitting there sipping her drink. The emperor is happy after achieving the top because it has plenty of strength, despite the fact that for him it's far little, but he can at the least start education once more. He puts a blue stone in his hand and thinks to himself that he won in opposition to the demon lord. And as long as he can teach, no matter how lengthy it takes, he's sure that he can be lower. Back on Pinnacle. He's interrupted via Yutang, who asks him what he's doing to which he best replies that he is calling at the view. Yutang says to him that she can set him free. These days, however, beginning the following day, he could be her associate, and then leaves, after giving him a sandwich left over. Lin eats the sandwich without getting stricken, as he used to consume the corpses of the beast for his schooling in his global, after which starts off evolved cleansing the marrow. As anyone is leaving, Lin calls Yushu telling her, that this region is great, and he might spend some greater days right here for the duration of the vacations, then calls his aunt to inform the same. After that, he books a room at a resort for the subsequent two months and spends all this time workout and mountain. 
climbing the mountain each day. After months have passed, Yushu receives a call from Lin, who asks her to pick him up from the lodge to which she without difficulty agrees, happy to, in the end get in touch with him due to the fact she became continuously pestered, approximately him via Yutang. Meanwhile, after two months of hard schooling, Lin has became a handsome man from a fat's boy however to him. His religious strength remains low so he has to preserve being a mediocre excessive school student. Yushu reaches his resort room to select him up and is stunned to see the brand new Lin and thinks that she has knocked on the incorrect door. She quickly apologizes for her. Mistake however is clearly smitten by the good-looking guy status in front of her. She starts to walk away and is stopped through when Lin calls her and says that she wasn't. Incorrect. She nonetheless doesn't realize that he's Lin and asks him if he's a friend of Lin. To which he replies that he is Lin, but Yunchu still thinks that he's joking together with her. Lin isn't always glad with her amazed response and says that it's far no massive deal do. To the fact he had simply misplaced the burden and then begin to stroll out of the resort. Through his cold conduct, Yunshu in the end accepts that he's Lin and remembers that. She informed him that even fat human beings have a hidden potential however she never thought it might be authentic. Yunshu is relieved that she never bullied Lin while he hold his terrible for him or even runs to open the car door for him. In the car, she tells him that he appears very handsome after his weight loss and tells him that Yanhui might also return to him. Now, however, he shouldn't pay attention to her or any women like her due to the fact they may only take a look at him due to his body. Lin simply rudely asks her to be quiet, making her regret her selection of now, not becoming a member of him inside the mountain climbing in advance, but remains hopeful that she is most exceedingly rated at. The list of the human beings Lin likes. She offers to take him for dinner however Lin says. That he only desires to go domestic. When Lin is going within the house, his circle of relatives thinks that he's a person else and asks him how he receives interior. And when he says that he's Lin, they think that he is someone else impersonating Lin. His aunt asks him if he has plastic surgical operation to which Lin says that he can't do that due to the fact she has all of the money, then asks her if he nevertheless has the money to pay for the semester to which she replies that she will pay for his studies. But if he's rude to his and uncle again, his fees could be right now stopped. Day after today at faculty no one recognizes Lin, taking into account him as a transfer student but all the women are impressed by using his handsomeness. Lin is uncomfortable with all the eye he is getting. And simply whilst he is wondering, it is probably due to that magical aura. Yuteng comes into his class, even as protecting Yunshu by means of her collar, angrily inquiring her about the whereabouts of Lin. Yunshu sooner or later points to him, pronouncing that he's Lin and he misplaced weight, but Yutang thinks that she is mendacity to him. Lin ultimately interrupts that he is in truth Lin and says to Yutang that she can educate with him if she wants and asks her to satisfy him. After class Yutang remains reluctant to accept that he's Lin, despite the fact that Yunchu says that he misplaced weight via hiking the mountain every day. Yutang once more asks him, if in reality is the fat's man and her suspicions are confirmed, while he rudely tells her to no longer name him fats. After finding that he's surely Lin, she says that she doesn't care if he is skinny or fat. He needs to live after magnificence these days. Yunchu confessed that the character she referred to as the opposite day was some random man. She asked Defo to be Lin to stay clear of Yutang. After paying attention to her tale, Yutang is amazed by way of her braveness and walks away saying that she is the maximum daring person she knows and then walks away. After Yutang leaves, all the elegance girls surround Yunshu, asking her different questions about Lin 
and praising his handsomeness. They're interrupted by using the instructor coming into the magnificence, who asks them to head lower back to their seats. The teacher is likewise amazed to see Lin in his new appearance, but quick receives over it, and then asks the elegance in the event that they want to alternate seats. All of the women quick step in, asking to sit down subsequent to Lin, whilst Yinshu defends her right to sit there. They cross silent once you have scolded by means of the teacher, who changes the seats by way of herself, and made a chubby boy sit subsequent to Lin. An awful lot to his comfort that he in the end were given a quiet seatmate. After the magnificence ends, the ladies once more block Lin's way out trying to make him dangle out with them in any manner viable, but he rudely interrupts them, asking them to get out of his way, after which leaves the elegance. The lady keeps to fangirl over him, even after he leaves making his cousin enraged by means of all the eye he's getting. He gets all the attention even at some point of the lunch wreck, whilst Yunchu is finding ways to affect him. After lunch, he is approached via Yanhai, who apologizes for her earlier conduct announcing that she became simply bowled over by means of the surprising announcement of the wedding however he ignores her and leaves from there. Lin is on foot on the floor, while hoping that there's no one on the rooftop, while he spots Zinni going the same way. No longer looking her to take his vicinity at the rooftop, he starts off of off to stroll rapid, even though he realizes it's miles apiece infantile, but he doesn't need to lose to her. In the meantime, Zinni notices him chasing her and thinks that he looks like that fat's guy when he crosses her. She is relieved that he was no longer approaching her however. She soon realizes that he's also going to the rooftop. Zinni additionally begins to walk faster, determined to visit the rooftop earlier than Lin. While he notices her strolling past him, he starts to go faster, now not wanting her to steal his territory. Both of their aggressive aspects rise as they note the opposite character going for walks via her facet. They start going for walks on the stairs. Crossing each other again and again however no one wants to give up as they don't want to lose to the other mortal individual. They reach the rooftop, after jogging all of the manor upstairs, sending every different feedback, and getting caught within the doorway. After some conflict, Lin manages to get out first and claims the rooftop announcing that it's Miles his region now. Zinni accuses him of touching her chest however he slaps her in return announcing that he changed into the one who tried to push him together with her chest. The emperor remembers that men are susceptible in this world and justifies his actions of slapping the lady. While Zinni doesn't leave after that and keeps in charge him, Lin says that he will call the police. Zinni desires to retaliate against him, but she recalls that girls are dominant on this world, and if she complained about him, no person will believe her words against him. She says to him that she will be able to allow him move this time, but the subsequent time she might be the only to win the race and leaves from there. He is relieved after she leaves and decides to see the replace at the information tale he turned into studying this morning. He's greatly surprised to study the information that lots of chickens on a chicken farm, suspected of being infected with the virus, have become dry our bodies in a single day. He recalls that the venerable demon possesses the fiercest demonic sword within the world and any creature that touches it is going to be swallowed to the bone. The lifeless chicken's photo appears to be the work of a demonic sword however in the final conflict. The venerable demon ultimately detonated the sword, shattering the void and his sword additionally exploded to guard its owner, and then he came to this realm. He is wondering that the venerable demon might not be dead and remembers that she killed him to illustrate her strength however he became immortal via know how the path to heaven. But she on the hand handiest needs to kill to regain her electricity. He swears to now not wait till the venerable demon regains her strength and makes a decision to go to the chicken farm to see what came about. After faculty ends, Yunchu offers that she can go with him to meet Yutang however he says that he is not going there. She quick says that she will be able to cowl for him, hoping to get on his properly side, and receives his gratitude later. Lin is sitting within the cab to go to the bird farm placed close to the edges of the metropolis, as he is determined to kill the demon if she is the one causing this trouble, even if his soul gets broken inside the process. 
after he gets out of the cab in an enormously deserted vicinity. He thinks that even though he has left very little electricity in his soul, nowadays he can't continue to exist without it. After summoning his electricity, he notices the house in front of him surrounded by way of the demon power, which leads him to agree with that venerable demon has survived. Simply then Yu Tang comes there at her motorbike and asks him what's he doing here as she got here after spotting him from afar. Lin is stressed with the aid of her sudden appearance, thinking that it cannot be a coincidence that they're both inside the middle of nowhere collectively. Lin tells her that he changed into on the taxi, whilst he notices the motive force trying to take him somewhere else, so he got off the taxi to which Yudong says that he might be cautious now because he is good-looking, that can entice girls toward him, as young human beings regularly receives trafficked and imprisoned within the small villages. She then offers him her helmet, tells him to wear it, and then walks away after telling him to look forward to her, pronouncing that she can be again after turning in a few orders. Lin thinks that despite the fact that she is mortal, she is tracking demonic energy because the direction she goes is precisely in which the demonic electricity is so he decides to silently comply with her. Yutang is going to the farm in which an old female asks her, who is she seeking out? Out of nowhere Yutang takes out her gun and points it on the female. Prono on seeing that she have a variety of braveness to now not run when she noticed her. The girl receives scared via the gun and tells Yutang to position it away, saying that it's far against that regulation, but Yutang most effective replies that as a cultivator she shouldn't communicate about the law. The girl once more says that she is just a normal farmer and tries to silently takes out a knife hidden in her wrist. However Yutang sees it and photographs at her hand to stop her. She then takes out her sword and tells the woman to speak the truth. However the lady remains admant that she isn't always an evil cultivator and she used that method on her chickens due to the fact there is no aura. Yutang replies that today she is rifing hen, however the following day she ought to do the identical with humans, and even though she is cultivating for a quick time, she is still so proficient that her power is similar to that of a ten-year antique monk. The girl says that Yutang is proper, and she or he need to have think about it earlier than to sure, but she is still hopeful that she will move further if she refined her. The girl changes her appearance, turning into a monster but Yu Tang is not phased and runs to assault her. Lin who's silently looking this, realizes that the demonic air of secrecy looks like the aura of a demonic sword and Yu Tang is in threat if it's miles proper. Yu Tang is likewise surprised by way of the demonic charisma and realizes that she can die if the monster receives and hit on her, so she comes to a decision to apply spirit sword talisman on it. The talisman doesn't paintings on the monster, and rather Yu Tang gets hit. But before the monster can harm her any further, Lin comes in between them. Yu Tang is taken aback by means of the unexpected intervention of Lin, and tells him to run away. Lin in reply tells her to turn away, and then will pay attention to the monster, making him stop effortlessly via the use of his religious energy. The emperor comes into his original shape to combat with the monster, while the excessive psychic energy there makes it hard for Yu Tang to agree with. In the meantime in Gian Temple of Liubai City, some monks are reading whilst all at once the bell earrings. One of the college students asks their grasp why the bell rang due to the fact it is only assumed to move off while something huge occurs within the international. The master abruptly kneels down there and says that the father of Taoism has reincarnated. Return to the foul farm. The emperor is in his real form and asks the monster wherein the venerable demon is but the monster has almost lost his spirit, now most effective looking like a fragment of a magic sword. The emperor isn't concerned and collects the monster's soul while questioning even though it could be a trap of venerable demon to test him however it doesn't count number because the soul will be a nice treasure to domesticate with its demonic nature eliminated. He then turns to Yu Tang who smitted through his splendor and plays a spell to make her neglect all this. The emperor goes lower back into Lin's body and appears through Yu Tang reputation, locating that she has the spiritual root of the best excellent and overdue level of Kai refinement that's considered a genius even inside the immortal world. 
he realizes that Yuteng ought to have a special area to domesticate. Because in this global where air of mystery is lacking, it might be vain to have an excessive stage talent. Simply then he fells Lin's heart beating gradual and realizes that he overloaded his residual soul too much and is hoping that he haven't broken his organs. He then comes to a decision to go lower back however is stopped by woman's when he comes out who starts off evolved to harass him, but is stored by using Yutang who seems there and beats the two ladies. She then scolds Lin announcing that she should defend himself while he's chased by way of a few people like them and then offers to take him lower back home. They get on her motorbike again and attain his home where Yutang asks him if he became absolutely scared while the one's ladies burdened him. Lin says that he turned into now not scared and reminds her to now not call him fat again. She suddenly remembers that she stood her up again and confronts him however Lin turns it on her announcing that his circle of relatives desired him to now not come by myself and he also waited for her. But she didn't display as much as which Yutang sheepishly replies that she had an emergency. She then turns to head lower back home, even as telling someone on the smartphone that the mission is completed however the goal, this time turned into as an alternative powerful evil. Yutang leaves after telling him that today, she is not into greater detail about their meetup, but she takes note of it for later. After she leaves, Lin is planning to visit his room and relaxation but is stopped by using his cousin and Yanhai, as they ask him if he is searching out a lady once more. Yanhai tries to cowl for Zixuan, and says that he is attempting to say that Yutang is a womanizer however Lin ignores them, and simply goes lower back to his room. In his room, the emperor is questioning that he's going to not be capable of preserve the use of his soul power anymore. In any other case, he will be in problem if he damages his organs. But it is a good thing that he has the magic sword fragment, as he can use it to cultivate as long as he eliminates the demonic energy. His thoughts are interrupted by using a knock on the door, and whilst he is going to open it, Yanhai is standing there watching for him. She says that she got here here these days for him, because she realizes that deep down she always loved him, and become only rude to him because she is at ease whilst she is with Lin. She apologizes for her earlier conduct and asks him out on a date, but Lin slams the door shut without answering her. He once more focuses on his energy, and is worried because he continually notion he had reached the maximum level of non-secular formation, and that he changed into immune to all demons, but he never idea that he was so naive that an unmarried word can shake his heart, and comes to a decision to do the thoughts exercise session to growth his energy. Tomorrow at faculty, Lin is again at the middle of interest of the ladies, as they flock around him inviting him to consume with them all through the lunch spoil. Yanhai also attempts to speak to him, even breaking up with Zixuan, but earlier than she ought to reach him. Yutang calls him. He is going closer to Yutang, while he notices Zinni going to the rooftop, so he fast runs to go there earlier than her however fails, as while he reaches there she is already ingesting her lunch there. She tells him to head away pronouncing that she came here first nowadays however Lin argues that this is his territory due to the fact he gained final time. When she refuses to accept that it turned into his territory, he suggests that they need to race again, but Zinni refuses. After arguing for a while, on Zinni's proposal they determine to play a game of I go to determine who is the winner. They begin to play the sport and maintain to do so till after school hours but get no outcomes as they're similarly appropriate. Lin says to her that she have to give up as they have performed so far however Zinni refuses to backpedal. As an alternative, Zinni takes a photograph of the board, saying that they may maintain from right here the next day. When Zinni stands up after hours of sitting in one location, her legs are numb and he or she falls down on Lin. He flicks her brow, blaming her for touching him again, and walks away, pronouncing that if she did that once more, he'll sue her. As he is coming out of the faculty, he gets a name from Yutang who begins yelling at him as quickly as he alternatives up the decision. 
She asks him in which he is to which he replies that he is on the faculty gate and asks her to pick him up. The emperor is surprised by way of the fact that Yudang most effective performs round all day within the school, however her cultivation level is still excessive. So he's making plans to comply with her to recognize her secret. Soon Yudang comes there and asks him why is he still at college, to which he replies that he by chance fell asleep. She says that she doesn't accept as true with him, and then says that she became searching out him so we can settle accounts. She then gives him her helmet and brings him again to her house. The emperor carefully seems round but simplest reveals. Computers. Nothing related to cultivation. She attempts to tease him by means of asking him if he feels safe along with her. However, he rather punches her in the belly sudden her. After she comes back to her senses after the powerful punch and invitations him to play. The game along with her, determined to beat him today. They play 47 games and Lin wins they all. He says that he has to go away and despite the fact that Yu Tang says that they may play one extra game. He replies that they will ought to do it some different day. He silently leaves a paranormal talisman paper doll in her house, which could move round on its very own and can also display Lin the view of its environment. In the meantime, a picture of Yutang taking Lin to her house is circulating of their elegance group and when Yanhai sees this, she is enraged wishing that something horrific happens to Yutang. Simply. Then a voice comes from nowhere, asking Yanhai if she wishes revenge.